Today we are going to make banana Nutella empanadas or dumplings maybe. These are the ingredients that we are going to need. Of course you can find them in burnometer.com with all the details and the amounts. We are going to start by cutting the bananas. You don't need to worry too much about the size because we are going to cook it. So more or less like this and the last one is for me. I love banana. We are going to connect burnometer and open the app and add a tiny bit of butter in our pan. You can use other oils if you prefer it, but butter is best. We are gonna let it cook at 90 to 100 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. In the meanwhile, you can put in a bowl of flour, tiny bit of sugar, this is up to you how much to use. I use something like 15 grams, not that much. And a little spoon of baking powder. You can see that our banana is almost spreadable, so it's perfect for taking it out and let it rest on a dish. Take your egg and separate the egg white from the yolk. We are going to use the yolk. Don't throw away the egg white, you can always cook it or use it in another recipe. Mix it with a spatula until it's kind of uniform and then you can add a tiny bit of milk that has been heated in the microwave. Continue mixing with the spatula, but then you're gonna need to get dirty and start kneading the dough with your own hands. And add the butter and mix it with your hands. Once the dough doesn't stick to the bowl, you can remove it and work on the table, which is way easier. After a tiny bit, the dough won't stick to your hands anymore and will be perfect. So you can cut it in four. I'm making four empanadas, you can always make two bigger ones if you prefer that. So there you go, we cut it in four, more or less the same size, and I'm gonna knead each one separately a tiny bit. And once they are all ready, you can cover with some transparent film and let it rest for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, you can roll them and make them as thin as you want. I made it quite thin. I made my empanadas quite thin, the dough, because I don't like doughy things that much, but you can leave it thicker if you prefer something fluffy. Once it is nice and flat and as thick as you like, you can start adding the banana. This one, I'm gonna make it with banana and cinnamon. I really like cinnamon. The only important thing is that you shouldn't add too much or you will have difficulties closing the empanada. With the help of a fork, you can seal the sides, and there you go. This is the second one, and this one I'm gonna make it with the Nutella, like I promised. And we do the same, we add the Nutella and the banana, and close it with a lot of love, and the help of a fork, of course. We are gonna do the same with the other two, and let's cover it again and let it rest for 40 minutes. After that, we are gonna prepare our burnometer again, also the app, of course, and we're gonna add some butter. Most likely you don't need butter at this stage because there is butter in the dough, but I like to have the extra flavor, flavor of the butter. We're gonna heat it up to 160, 170 degrees and let them cook for five minutes each side. They are gonna be delicious. You can see that this pan is a perfect fit for my four empanadas. And we're gonna cover it. And let's wait for five minutes. Now it's time, so I'm gonna turn them. There you go, you see how they got a nice color. We're gonna put the lid again and let it cook for another five minutes. And this is optional, but I'm gonna also cook it for two minutes the sides so they don't have that sad whitish color and they get a little bit more brown. And that's it. These are our empanadas. Remember, go to burnometer.com to have the whole recipe and more details. Burnometer is a first pan thermometer. We are ready to launch very soon. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Share it with your friends and family. I'll see you soon for the next one.